With the second pick in the 2010 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select defensive tackle Indomitian Sue out of Nebraska. Indomitian Sue was a force to be reckoned with here in the city of Detroit. And I remember his rookie year, dude was an absolute dog. He went on to win defensive rookie of the year for the Detroit Lions. And ever since he's gone in 2014, Detroit Lions fans, every opportunity that he's become available in one form of or another, they've tried to bring him back to the city of Detroit. And I've said many, many times that he does not want to come back to play for the Detroit Lions, but he does have a bunch of businesses that still exist in the Detroit area. And I believe he comes back and spends some time in a local metropolitan area on occasion. But he is looking for the Detroit Lions to upset the Dallas Cowboys. And here's something I thought that was pretty unique that I wanted to share coming from Corey Wood's Twitter account. Let's check this out. I was 10 to 16 of last week, so kudos to myself. NFL Week 17, Lions at Cowboys. I see this as a potential wild card. I don't like Dallas, especially when I was a Lion and they cheated us. So I'm going to pick the Lions if they come out victorious in this one. Cowboys are just been struggling. Dolphins at Ravens. So you heard it from the man's mouth himself that he is not very fond of the Dallas Cowboys. And even though it's been 10 years ago and he has shown, in my opinion, no signs of coming back to the city to play, no matter what fans want, he has not forgotten, just like us Detroit Lions fans, that um, what the Dallas Cowboys did to us. And, and, and it's funny seeing that he still, not that he forgot that, but he still it still is a bitter taste in his mouth. And I remember very specifically um, – you know, I'm not a body language expert, but when in Dominican Sue, when we lost that game and he was becoming a free agent, he was just he was at the end of his rookie deal deal, got the fifth year option picked up. And a lot of people wonder whether he was coming back. And I myself was one of those guys, didn't know if the Detroit Lions would resign him and and if he even wanted to come back. And I remember when he was up in front of the podium and he was just bawling his eyes out. And I said, that looks like a man who knows that he's not going to get a chance. He's not going to come back here. That this was the end of whatever journey he was on for the Detroit Lions. And he's never he's never come back. And even he's been to the Miami Dolphins. He wound up going to the Miami Dolphins in free agency. Then he went to the Rams. Then he went to the Buccaneers. Then he went to the Philadelphia Eagles. And as of right now, he's gone into the Philadelphia Eagles, I believe, but he did not have a deal when he came out. And I want to say that this is Indomitian Sue's last year. You're talking about his, what, 13th, 12th, 13th year in the league. He's 35 years old. And I think that he is going to wind up packing it up after this year. But he did walk away from the game with the defensive rookie of the year and also one Super Bowl, appeared in two and got one Super Bowl, which is more than we can say for a lot of former Detroit Lions. Well, no, a lot of former Detroit Lions have. Cliff Averill has a Super Bowl. There's a lot of guys who have a Super Bowl once they left the Detroit Lions. And Kyle Van Noy currently is on a team that look like their favorites to win one themselves. So in Dominican Sioux, man, let me know what you thought in the comments below about his feelings against the Dallas Cowboys. Even though he has not returned to the Detroit Lions, and I don't think he wants to personally, otherwise it would have happened already, it's good to know that he has that bitter taste in his mouth. And again, if you can find the press conference Conference of him and when he was leaving Detroit it was after the Dallas game it was because this game was on the road and it was in the you know how they the players come up in front of the media it was a completely different because that was that was Jim Caldwell's first year I believe right Jim Caldwell's first year and you could see how much pain he was in and I was like, this dude's not coming back. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.